So I've made a discovery here on the Vanguard Dividend Appreciation Fund. And I just want to share with you guys, I started accumulating shares in October of 2021 at an average cost of 159. The stock price has done quite well. We're up in every block, as you can see here, ranging from, you know, anywhere from the low single digits to the high uh, double digits um, into the 20%. That's that's a nice block right there. Um, but um, what I want to convey in this video is these are multiple share blocks that I've bought, and these are the dividends that are actually paid uh, over the fund. So in 2021, I made my first dividend um, about a third of a share. But come over here and this is where it starts to accumulate in value, a modest $2.50, uh, up four and a quarter percent. But then you look as we move into 2022, and this is what ends up happening when you end up adding to this and increase the share block. Here I received over a half a share. So when we go over here and we check, the performances has, all, has tripled, basically, up 10% just on that dividend rendering. Now I've got these renderings rolling back into the dividend portfolio, um, but if you look here shortly after, even before I could accumulate more shares, six tenths of a share here has made over 22%, almost a $20 bill. So it's starting to get serious. <clears throat> and then uh, just over six tenths of a share. So there's three dividends right in a row where we've made 40, 50 bucks. Um, and up over 20% on two of them and up 10% on the one dividend. As we scroll down here, there's a, a buy, my first buy point actually in 2022 was of 25 shares. Um, then the end of uh, 2022 paid that last dividend. And let's see how well that performed. That was a 16% dividend at $21. Again, dividend reinvested back into the portfolio. 12 shares starting beginning of last year, uh, two dividends in a row, and finally my last block, excuse me. Um, yeah, I've accumulated some nice shares in this, but as we scroll over through 2023, you can see here how the dividends have just all gone up, and I'm in the green on every one of these positions. Is VIG the best dividend uh, ETF to own? Well, I don't know. VYM is the high dividends yield, and uh, VIG is the dividend appreciation. I already own a big position in the S&P 500, so this seemingly fits into my portfolio and the strategy that I'm looking to deploy. But I thought you guys could appreciate some real numbers, me taking you into this review of the Vanguard's dividend uh, ETF here for you guys. Um, the last two share blocks of 70 shares respectively both up 10% and then the dividend renderings up 13 and three quarter percent and just over 14% on the last two dividends paid. So if I went back and actually added up all of these dividends, you could see here how this, this drip program within this one ETF is significantly starting the snowball effect probably sooner than what I expected. And I think you guys can appreciate how fast these dividends can grow and really how how really safe these can be here as I'm up in the green in every one of these positions here. So hope you liked the video and stand by for more.